What you ask for, you get. Ask and it is given. Well, as morning to all from the human empowerment cell of Jeevan Charge. Starting today, we will walk you all through a series wherein only you can set yourself free from the cage of your own thoughts. Kaise? Well, we shall share the details during the webinar. Team Jeevan Charge welcomes you all on board. Hamare aaj ki flight DSM Part 21 उड़ान भरने के लिए तैयार है। आप सब से निवेदन है कमर की पेटी बांध लीजिए और अपने आप को अनम्यूट ना कीजिए। हमारे आज के कप्तान हैं विंद्री कौरची। Let's take our attention to the screen and decipher the journey from the earth to the universe.
Let's all soak in the energy and prepare ourselves for an exhilarating experience this morning and henceforth. Focus your eyes and listen to the sound of the silence. The universe is ironically vibrating to this silent sound. Close your eyes, breathe in and tune into this vibration. My humble request to all of you, humble request, you are the universe, you are not separate from the universe. As you close your eyes, you're breathing in and breathing out. The universe is inside you, the universe is outside you. You are the universe, take your power back and just breathe in Breathe out, feel the energy, soak yourself into this beautiful energy of the universe. You are the universe. And as you are soaking yourself into this beautiful energy, keep on breathing in and out. Breathe in and out the universe. You are the universe. You can affirm to yourself, I am that I am. Breathe in and breathe out. And slowly when you are comfortable, Open your eyes. When you are comfortable, you can open your eyes. Good morning. Good evening to the overseas. Satsrikal, Vaiguji ka khalsa, Vaiguji ki fateh. Please don't be that serious. I want to smile on your face. You're going to come to connect to a very beautiful energy. And my humble request 
please put on your cameras. Please put on your cameras. All, please put on your cameras. Don't be scared. Hum jate na mandir mein gurdwari jate na. So what do we do? Hum kete amrit vela swere jare. Hum gurdwari mandir masjid mein jare. Amrit vela. So hum kya karte hain? Hum wa ja ke matha tekte hain. Kirtan bhajan sunte hain. Or garbapas aate hain. Don't we come back home? And usually we are. Empty handed. I'm sorry to say in the morning hours, I'm telling you, but today I need your focus on the screen. Understand what I am trying to tell you because you're going to carry back a beautiful knowledge that is going to make your life beautiful. And what time? In the early hour of the morning when there's no disturbances. So today, today standing on this platform, this is a Gurdwara. This is a Masjid. This is a church. This is a Mandir. Where this is the congregation where we have all collected together to carry, to catch, to focus, to take all the tools back for the whole day. Of how to make a life beautiful. So, leave all this seriousness. Give me a smile. All come onto the camera. After the session, you can all have questions. Please don't be scared. Write down your questions. And I want you people to question. If you question means that you are alert. So now let's start with the session. What do you mean by laws of the universe? They say that the whole universe, that the whole universe is a very organized place, very organized. That organizing is the laws. This laws is a niyam and they are very well organized. We all have to follow these laws. Who does not abide by these laws, they violate these laws, they are going to cross, and there are a lot of confusion in the world. Laws are everywhere. We need discipline in school, in offices. You see the red light, the yellow light, the green light. This is the law. You cannot break it. If you break it, you're going to harm yourself and the others. So you see law is everywhere. Everywhere there is a law. In every country, everywhere there's a law. And you have to follow the law. Who follows the law, they will be happy. Who breaks the law, they will suffer. So also we say in spirituality, there are laws. Niyam hai. In every place, everything, there's a law. Now, if we say that in spirituality, there is law, then you see every moment there is a law. I'm catching a pen and I just leave the pen. It falls down. There is a law. The gravity force. In the universe, there are laws which cannot be changed. We have to follow these laws. We have to follow these laws. So when we are following these laws, they say that if there are laws here in the universe, then who is the owner of the universe? A very big question children are going to say, who is the owner of the universe? Now, this owner, we will say, that actually we are all, the space really belongs to everyone or perhaps to no one. It belongs to everyone or perhaps to no one. Because right in the beginning, when we had closed our eyes and we were sucking the energy of the universe, I was telling you that you are the universe. 
the universe are you. You cannot be separated. You are the oneness. You are in the totality. So, who belongs? Whom does this universe actually belong? It belongs to us. And if you say, no, it doesn't belong to us, then it belongs to no one. This, I'm keeping a question mark. Because the detailed studies will be done in my series, which will be coming in the next week. Now we come up to the next question. The next question says, does the universe have laws? Yes. Just as in the world, on the earth, offices, schools, all around, you see, even in the police station, there are certain laws. Even you go to the court, there are certain laws. Even the universe is having the laws. And the laws that we have are multiple. They are at least more than 100 something. There are laws. And these laws, if you abide, if you follow these laws, then they say that these laws will take you to, into spirituality. It will help you to make your life beautiful. That is the beauty of the universal law. Now, if this law, if we abide, this universal law, we call it as the spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. When you follow these laws, you're automatically getting into spirituality. And when you get into spirituality, that means you will slowly start believing. It is not a myth. It's actually that you are that oneness. You are the universe. We, word, we use that word, no? God. This word, word, just replace it. This etymology of God. Just play, remove it and put it in that universe. Instead of God, put universe. If I am the walking, talking God on earth, that means I am the universe. Please keep your mind open. You have to digest this. These are the things which we have to digest, which we are already carrying with all different beliefs from years down. Through our parents and grandparents, we are carrying certain beliefs where we believe that God is sitting in the sky. If God is sitting in the sky, then it clashes. If the whole universe is God, so then God cannot be sitting in the sky. He is everywhere. He is just everywhere. So they say that the universe has laws and multiples of laws. That's why I want all your focus. Today, I'm just going to give you the taste. Just the taste. Because it is not going to be easy. When I'm going to take series, I will be taking one law at a time. It may take me two days. It is very, very pious sharing with you people. So please keep your mind very open. Don't restrict yourself. So the laws of the universe is going to be in multiple, is going to be mind-blowing, and is going to make your life beautiful. Now, are laws made by humans? Yes, laws are made by women. But these are man-made laws. These laws are man-made. Now, what is the difference between man-made laws and universal laws? What is the difference? Now, the difference between the man-made and the universal law is that the man-made laws, example, every country has its own laws. When every country has its own laws, for example, you go onto the road, you see the cars being driven on the right-hand side. They're having the seat on the right-hand side, the driver's seat. You go overseas, they have it on the left. That's the law. They have to follow. Every country has its own law. That means the laws are different from country to country. There are certain type of system. Everyone has their own laws. It is made by the human being. This is man-made. And it keeps on changing. It keeps on changing. Now when COVID came, you see how the system changed, totally system changed. No one was on the roadside. Because of the environment, because of the COVID, everything changed. And not for a few days, for two, three years. 
so the system changed so the man made laws keep on changing they change from house to house country to country state to state even in and then keep even in one country absolutely in delhi or bombay even in the court it keeps on changing you see all the laws are changing now this is man made laws this is a difference and what is a universal law the universal law does not change the universal law does not change now if the universal does not it was can then are the such to bar the such habi such nanak kosi this truth this was is and will always prevail there's going to be no changes ye atal hai niyam and we always discuss in our sessions that everything is changeable in the universe everything is changeable in the universe even a child is born it keeps on changing it comes to youth old age and goes off a building is constructed slowly it becomes old and it drops down everything keeps on changing education system is changing technology is changing everything is changing medications are changing scientists the way of thinking is changing but what is not changing that oneness does not change that is the only thing that does not change but agar we say that does not change agar wo nahi badalta to aaj hum ye bhi keh rahe hain ki these laws do not change so now we can put an equation the universe equals to law because law does not change ye atal hai ye niyam atal hai aaj agar maine ek pencil phenka to wo niche chala gaya wo pehle bhi gira आज भी गिरेगा और आगे भी गिरता रहेगा ये अटल है सो वी से लॉर्ड द वनस इज अनचेंजेबल सो टूडे वी से इवन द लॉज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इज अनचेंजेबल सो कांट वी से यूनिवर्स इक्वल्स टू लॉ दैट टेक्नोलॉजी विच वी आर यूजिंग गॉड वी आर मूव इट ऑफ एंड वी बॉट द यूनिवर्स the universe is the oneness as in the meditation we say no breathe in and breathe out suck in the energy the universe is inside you the universe is outside you so what is the universe the universe is the divine power the divinity that is inside you and the divinity that is outside it says it is in each and every place wo kan kan pe hai the whole universe is god so this is unchangeable and man made laws are changeable so this is the difference between two of those laws now what is the meaning now we have understood about the laws now what is the meaning of universe if you all are carrying your paper and pencil i will be giving you a formula of what is the meaning of the universe these are words being used to make you understand and give you a clear concept different different words are being used on what is universe as we said put aside god because when we talk of god children say we do not believe in god we are this is we do not believe in god we try to prove to those children that yes there is god but we change the word in place of god we say do you believe in the universe they say yes we say yes we believe in the universe we say do you believe in the cosmos they say oh yes this is all science we believe in the cosmos do you believe in the energy oh yes we do believe in the energy so this cosmos now you can just make an equation universe another name is called the cosmos this equals to universe equals to cosmos cosmos equals to life 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 equals to oneness oneness equals to truth truth that is unchangeable the truth equals to shabad the sound the shabad equals to the guru the guru equals to gyan 
ज्ञान इक्वल्स टू नाम नाम इक्वल्स टू नाम इक्वल्स टू लॉ लॉ इक्वल्स टू ईश्वर प्रभु एंड वे डज ऑल दिस रिसाइड दिस यूनिवर्स दिस लाइफ दिस कॉस्मोस इन टू वेज सो दीज आर ऑल द नेम्स विच वी आर गिविंग इन प्लेस ऑफ द यूनिवर्स दिस इज अम दट यू गिविंग इन प्लेस ऑफ द यूनिवर्स now the children say okay we we agree the cosmos yes we know that everywhere there is life even life is there in water life is there in the fire life is everywhere so we say that this is life and you will see that what are the universe made of all before i start with the five elements of the universe i will like to tell you that there is two universe we are inside the universe we are inside the cosmic and cosmic is inside us kehte ki wo na ramya hua hai koi aisi jagah nahi hai jo jahan pe wo hai nahi every place there's not a place where he is not there he is inside us he is inside outside hum kaun hai if you see on the whole world if you see the world you will see that the whole world is something that you can see you can see what you can see with this naked eye ye sargun hai of the nirgun ye sargun hai of the nirgun wo nirgun bata raha hai main hu main hu aaj main bhi bata rahi hu vindri main hu i am that i am today you all are saying i am that i am but we are scared we are scared hai hum kaise ho sakte wo Break this myth. Pick up your own powers. So we say that there's a cosmic outside and there's a cosmic inside. So now let's talk about the cosmic outside, the greater cosmic which we all are seeing. Because there's difference between the world and the universe. The world is what where we all are sitting. We can see. We can breathe. we see all the mountains the rivers the plants the animals our relationship the buildings the technology everything we see around us this is the world this is the earth and this earth this world is just a peanut of the universe because the universe is compiled of what the galaxy the stars the moon the whole universe this is the difference between the world and the universe i have to make you clear up that what is the difference between the universe and the world because if this is there the difference between the world because people think the world is a universe no the world is something which we can see with the naked eye wherever we are around but universe is too vast too vast so we say universe versus world we make it into a thing all the universe versus the world now when we come into the universe versus world what is the difference before i get into the other chapters please understand universe is all existing matters in space considered as a whole the universe is in totality it is the whole what is the world it refers to the earth where we all are living our country the people the things around us and what is the relationship universe is cons- consisting of the solar system planet moon stars galaxy etc etc and what is the world the world is a part of the universe which we showed you on the very first screen when we showed you the full how you travel from the earth to the universe so you can just imagine we are just peanuts of the universe then what is the size the universe size is unknown it is unlimited and who is unlimited the universe the oneness the god the so called god the prabhu the ishwar the oneness that is inside you that is unlimited and what is the size of the earth the world it is 6371 km so please be very careful that do not mingle the world the earth with the universe because you are the totality 
you are not the earth you are the totality you are the universe so now this difference between the universe and world has been made very clear to you that what is the difference so now please hold on to the universe that what is the universe now what does the universe contain what is it made up of the universe is made up of the five elements the universe is made up of the five elements now we are just going to concentrate on the universe because we are going to start with the series next week on the laws of the universe so what are the five elements of the universe you already know the five elements of the universe is water earth fire space and air this everyone knows now you see in the universe there is water okay how much percentage 72% 72% noted down 72% of water in the universe earth just 12% earth is just 12% and air is 6% air is 6% fire is 4% fire is 4% and space is 6% is 6% do you want me to work on the board or are you okay with my if you want the board put your thumbs up okay So here you come with water, seventy-two percent. You come with the earth, that is twelve percent. Then you come with the air, six percent. You come with the fire, and that is four percent. and then you come with the space this is 6% in totality it comes to 100% this is the total percentage of the universe these are the five elements that are existing in the universe that means that this five elements are also existing on the earth in the world it's not that in the universe it is 72 because earth is a part of the universe earth is a part of the universe so that means when there is water when there is water in the universe you can see you can see you can see that the earth the water you see the rivers the ocean you come on to the bank side beaches do you see that the whole beach everything gets melted all the sand gets into the water no there is something that is holding the water and holding the earth now what is that that's holding the water and the earth nahi to agar humne ek glass mein pani dal diya aur upar se mitti dal di to wo ghul jayegi but you see on the earth ek taraf mein the whole ocean is there on one side you see all the beaches it is the space which we say that the space is the 6% because this space we give another name called the ether e t h e r ether without ether the universe will not survive is so powerful because it is the ether that holds the thing in its place today if you see the galaxy and if you see the whole universe all the um, planets they are rotating they don't fall anywhere what's holding them is the ether so ether is a very very important part of the universe beshak wo 6% hai but it is very very important part what is happening in the universe they are all getting destroyed pollution of the air 
water is becoming scarce your water is coming or you will see there are calamities coming fires being caught up in down to the forest and all. all these things are happening now this is one part of the universe which we are talking in totality but then why are we discussing this so you go in google you'll get everything out of it sab kuch mil jayega agar google aunty bahut hushiyar hai bahut kuch degi aap logon ko but why did we take this because spirituality says take your own responsibility if you want your your own evolution you have to take your own responsibility how do we take we always hear please take your own responsibility don't do the blame game don't pass judgment jo ho raha hai theek ho raha hai apne aap ko saware to hum bade acche ek to use karte na aap saware main mile main mile aa sukh hoye aap sawaro sawaro give some ear to it what why it is saying so because spirituality means that now let us look into another universe is not a different is just jab wo universe ek ramya ho ya it passes through us also so that mean inside me there is a mini cosmos there is a mini cosmos inside me the outside universe we can do nothing we cannot do anything the government is trying everything but we cannot do anything but there is a cosmos which we can we have a choice which we can actually look into and we can change we can work upon and change our lifestyle we can bring happiness into our life bring in good relation to our life bring abundance into our life we can connect to the oneness we can evolve we can become the walking talking god on earth this is the thing so now let's get inside that's the universe where we want to discuss which is very very important because in the series when i will be doing the laws of the universe they are going to be very pious is going to have lot of energy and i'm sure by the three levels and all you are actually going to be the walking talking gods on earth i can really vouch for it but you have to be very serious about it get into the universe that is the percentage was there outside the same percentage is inside us also same 72 12 6 4 6 all this is same now we say that the, if the universe is an energy is a divine power now our body is made up of billions and billions of cells is made up of billions and billions of cells now these cells each cells they are also all atoms every atoms have neutrons and protons and it is proved it's a universal law that everything rotates the whole universe is rotating the earth is rotating on its orbits you will see that the sun the earth is rotating round the sun the earth is rotating round the sun moon is rotating round the earth everything is rotating but it says that even in our body our cells are also rotating everything in is a rotation motion so when they are rotating then these cells they create an energy a frequency that billions of cells of our body now how does this body come the ether the ether is the thing that sucks all these billions of cells and forms a physical body it is the ether that you know like a magnet it pulls all the billions of cells and forms this physical body that you can see it is a physical body you can see a plant is it a physical body of a animal the physical thing that you can see is held by what it is held by the ether i would like to take the stone dynasty later beta yes does get me onto the screen yes so what happens ki this ether is the one that is connecting all a billion cells together to form this physical body so ether 6% and the earth is 12% this is the physical body is the earth this is the food 
when we eat a banana or we eat can they full gobi khao what it become is the body it becomes a body so that 12% earth has been held by the space 6% and the physical body is there now where is the water and where is the air 4% of the air is there inside everything because everything is breathing every cell is breathing every cell of our body has all the system it has a digestive system it has its own liver it has its kidney it has its lungs its breathing system it has its endocrine each and every cell has it so you can imagine the billions of cell having billions of eyes so our whole body is actually a community is actually a community is so beautiful that this body is actually a whole community now this is having the air we are breathing now where is the fire where is the fire you see that there is a temperature of the body when the temperature increases we say you have fever when it goes down we say that it is that the temperature has gone down please energize now in spirituality these have to be controlled all these elements have to be controlled by who by me by you if you really want to survive and going for your evolution then you must know the terms the system the tools of how to balance all these elements and how do you balance it with what tools we say the power of your thoughts we are what bundles of thoughts man is a bundle of thoughts no thoughts coma so we are a bundle of thoughts now these thoughts have so much of power that they can make our life beautiful or they can make our life hell now when we have very good positive thoughts frequency increases all the elements are very well balanced but when we have negative thoughts negative emotions fire increases kehte na rajagun tamogun satogun the fire increases when the fire element increases in the body it sucks in the water dehydrates level of the water goes down you will see that there is going to be swelling in the body then hum kahenge pani piyo electric pani do sabko do unko because a negativity sucks in the heat increases fire element increases sucks in the uh, water and the water retention starts and we people start taking in water and when we go into our egoism the fire element the air element it increases and we start flying when what ego we are flying in ego problems again rise it goes and hits against all our organs and we fall sick so these five elements have to be remain balanced and balanced how by our thought process because man is a bundle of thoughts whose thoughts my thought it's your thought you have the power over your own thoughts it's your choice you want to have good thoughts or you want to have bad thoughts you want to have good emotion you have bad emotion that's your life that's your power that's your remote take it take back your power you have the tools to do it but to use this knowledge you have to have the knowledge you have to have the knowledge that you have the power when you come to know that you have this power and you can do then don't you feel oh i have the power i have a control over myself many times you say oh we don't have a control what to do bad thoughts come and no we have the control you are the universe you have the oneness because it's inside you is controlling the whole thing it is we who have separated ourselves with our old beliefs we have separated ourselves so we have to again go back we have to connect ourselves we have to travel from the body conscious to the soul conscious we are always been reading with what i uh, my children my house my money my shop everything i and me was that was the ego that we be living in the body conscious mere rishtedar mere bacche mera ghar wala you see in life what are we doing ye to mere dirani ke bachche hain ye to meri nanan ke bachcha hai ye to mere bachche hain ye to meri behan ke bachche you see the whole family grast kaise chal raha hai 
बिकॉज वी लिविंग इन द बॉडी कॉन्शियस हमने सोचा ही नहीं कि आई एम दैट आई एम आई एम नॉट दिस आई एम नॉट दिस फिजिकल बॉडी आई एम दैट यूनिवर्स आई एम दैट वन इज दैट इन साइड मी and i am broken i don't even have an idea about it the scriptures have been telling us and we are giving wrong analysis of it and pampering ourselves han ji hum to mandir jaate hain hum to gurudware jaate hain hum to church jaate hain hum to puja paath karte hain aur apne aap ko apne bade dhar mein bana liye sorry to say this is a rat race stop it if you really want to evolve it's not easy to digest i know it is not easy to digest so the five elements outside and the five elements inside so not this elements you have the control you are the one is i am that i am i am the walking talking god i have the power i can change anything i can change the world inside if you change the world inside you can change the world outside if you are healed the world is healed you change the world change this is the law now this is the elements now you will see how what about the other things that are in the universe outside is inside you you see the four dynasty you see the soul stone you see the plants you see the uh, animals and then you see the human being these are the terms. now what is the stone dynasty you see all the mountains and you see what are they are very hard they are very hard if you give them a kick no you'll get hurt yourself this stone dynasty is also inside us how जब हमारे जो कहते हैं ना हमारा दिल जो है जो हमारा मन है जब कड़ूकता पे आ जाता है सिंबॉलिक दिस स्टोन डायनेस्टी इज इन साइड अस ये जब हमारा मन विथ ऑल द टाइप ऑफ नेगेटिव इमोशन नेगेटिव थॉट्स है बिकम लाइक अ स्टोन it makes no difference is hurting himself and hurting everyone ja pe bhi hum ek patthar baitha hai usko when we talk we criticize we use abusive language that bitterness that anger the tantrums we throw all is are symbolic of stone being thrown at others this is the stone dynasty we come to the next dynasty that is the plant the plant is outside you see that they are growing they are also growing so also the plants they have the roots and they have the branches you see they have the roots and the branches this tree is also there inside the plants are inside us what is our roots my roots are what the oneness but we have broken from the oneness we have broken from the oneness when we have broken from the oneness then what type of leaves are we going to get we are going to get nothing you will see all the leaves will fall off because our roots of my tree is not connected to the oneness i am connected to the wrong place to the body conscious they say that here we have our roots very very strong we have to be connected to the oneness daily work do everything that you can do on this universe do it when you are doing all your daily routine you go to the office you're looking after family you go for your education you're doing your job everything but your roots have to be very strong your values have to be to the connection of the oneness you have to break from the body conscious and come to the soul conscious bas pura din aapka man jo hai us ek ke sath hi juda rehna chahiye it should be on the root and the root is what bit omission we happy don't be in the blame game because that is being connected to the oneness we always in no blame game no judgment total in love total forgiving this is our root and do all your work do all your work this is doing meditation with open eyes ye hai naam simran jo 24 aps kar sakte ho life will be beautiful this is also inside us and then comes the animal the animal dynasty now what is this animal ab ye bar hai to ye dynasty hamare andar bhi hai hum bar ke to kuch bhi nahi kar sakte but there are a full zoo inside us a full zoo 24 hours you will see 
that we are just barking like dogs from the morning till night. We are just barking. And what are we doing? Bade bade log kehte na, o bandeya, banda ban, ke kutya wakan pogda pe hai. Kabi kutton ko to nahi bola ki kutta ban. Because outside the universe, the dogs and all, what is their work they are doing? They are in the law. They are working according to the law of the universe. But we are going against the law. And what are we doing? We are behaving like animals. We are at times behaving like a donkey. Like a donkey taking the burden. Khoton ke jaise aamna boj uthate. Kis chiz ka boj? Har ghar ki ninda karne. Unke ghar ke gossip karne. Phone uthane. किसके घर में क्या हो रहा है किसका बेटा क्या कर रहा है किसकी बहू कहां गई दिस इज व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर कैरिंग ऑल द बर्डन्स ऑफ एवरीवन ऑन आवर शोल्डर एंड वी आर बिहेविंग लाइक अ डोंकी वी बिहेव लाइक अ पिग अ पिग गोस एंड क्लीन्स द रोड्स बट वी बिहेव लाइक अ पिग हाउ दैट वी आर ऑल एक्चुअली क्लीनिंग अप द डर्ट्स ऑफ द पीपल्स हाउस एंड ब्रिंगिंग इट इनटू आवर ओन हाउस वी लिक द शिट्स ऑफ द पीपल of the dirt of the people of the gossips making gossip centers and then we get it back into our own house which house this body at amare man ke andar wo sara kood kachra everything we keep it and that makes us sick we have like a snake 24 ghante dekho dang maar rahe hain poison ghar ghar rasti mein dang maar rahe hain neighbors ko dang maar rahe hain Jealousy is there, bitterness is there. So we are behaving like animals. So all these four dynasties inside. But if we understand these four dynasty inside, then we have the tool that we can change this dynasty. We can train it. We we'll stop barking like a dog. Stop gossiping and picking up the shit of the people like a pig and a donkey. We can change it. We can train them. we can make them constructive rather than making them destructive so this is also a dynasty inside the universe the cosmos that is inside us so i've already told you that these things are thing which is in spirituality what i'm trying to get you is into spirituality and in spirituality if you understand this universe the cosmic inside you see this is now how we have come see how we have come what is our way we are looking and slowly slowly we have all come to this side agar aap bolte ho ki first one you see with the four legs then the two legs and slowly the back spine is becoming straight and then becomes you see the last where it come who has chiseled it who has chiseled it now we just bring me to the screen back i want to see everyone now who has chiseled it keep your mind open you have to digest this humne dekhe ki ek monkey ke jaise hamara face hai then slowly slowly the back is rising and we are becoming straight who has chiseled it god came down and chiseled it no this is the our intelligence as the years pass by the eras pass by it is our intelligence it is according to our own intellect that we created this beautiful body of our own no one came down on the earth or went into the mother's womb to chisel the body and make the body straight it is we our evolution our intelligence that we have created this beautiful body today where we are this you have to take and you have to digest it that no one came from the sky into the mother's womb and chiseled the body it is we ourselves because we have the divinity power because i am that i am i am the universe i am the walking talking god and i am the intelligence i am that oneness but puri zindagi hum logo ne kya kiya we have belittled ourselves we actually belittled ourselves because like hum should we hum kahan kar sakte hain we cannot do this hamare mein to itna hai hi nahi hai hum kahan hai you know hum log ne hamesha apne aap ko shoddha 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 get up get up please get up you have to digest if you do not digest this, whatever this information has been given to you shared with you you will never take back your power you will never 
have the guts to change that world inside you. You can do and don't live like a victim. Throughout life, we have been living like a victim. Man, Shodhi, 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 please become a warrior. You have the power of your thoughts. Thoughts are yours. It is inside you. You have created. You can destroy. You can sustain. We are the creator. We are the sustainer and we are the destroyer. You have created all those thoughts. Today we have realized that we have made a mess of our family. We have a mess of our relationship. We have messed up this body of ours. Today we have sustained. Now I will destroy this universe inside me. And I will create a beautiful universe inside me now with the tools and the knowledge that we are gaining. Just changing our thought process because thought is also an energy. The universe is also an energy. The oneness is an energy. Everything is energy. The cells are energy. Everything is energy. Everything is together. You cannot separate it out. You just cannot. We are all one. I am you. You are me. Then why this bitterness? Why this anger? Why is nafrat hai? All are playing their parts, no? All are under the law. I will be disclosing a lot more after this session in the next series that are coming. I will take me, and it's my humble request that I vouch that if you go through all these levels, there are going to be three levels. We are going to start with the first level of 15 days. And I vouch that if you really be serious and work, you will bring a transformation into your life. You are actually going to make your life beautiful. It's a 15 day series. And what is the curriculum? You will see the law of divine oneness. It's going to take me two days. Law of energy and vibration. I think it will take me another two days. Law of action. Law of correspondence. It will be eye opening. Law of cause and effect. Law of compensation, law of attraction, law of perpetual transmutation energy, and the law of relativity, law of polarity, law of rhythm, and the law of gender. These are the 12 laws which will come in the first curriculum, the first level. One thing understand, once you enter into this first level, those who enter into this first level can carry on with, to the second level and then to the third level. But who do not enter into the first level will be not allowed to enter into the second and the third because levels are going to be different. And the last level is where you will actually reach to the place where your evolution starts. So please, it's my humble request. If you really want to evolve, connect to the oneness, make life beautiful. Stop all these tantrums and all these rat races and all these myths and karam can't stop it. If you really want to, then you will have to join on the 6th to 22nd of March, which will start at 5.30 to 6.30. I have seen that all of you have joined. It is very nice. You have actually foregone your sleep. Hamare mein ek cheez kahawat kehti hai ki bade log shaheed hoye hai. जो जो इंसान सुबेरे के टाइम पे उठ जाता है ना सबसे बड़ी शहादत उसी की होती है जिसने अपने नींद को शाद कर दी है सो दिस आर इज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वेयर देयर आर नो डिस्टरबेंसेस वेयर यू कैन एक्चुअली पे अटेंशन फुल फोकस एंड दिस इज प्लेस वेयर यू आर इंपार्टिंग नॉलेज व्हिच इज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेयर यू कैन ग्रास्प where you can question you cannot question in the mandirs and the gurudwaras you cannot here you can question you have your doubts you can speak up so my humble request to all of you that please if you want you can join and now i think arvind will give you the detail about it thank you poji for this wonderful wonderful session so participants how would you like to wake up to a uh, non-stop 15-day series on laws of universe. Sounds intriguing, isn't it? Yes, interesting as well. Brought to you by Building Spiritual Muscles of Human Empowerment Cell of Jeevan Charge. An amazing platform indeed. Our ask is that only 1500 rupees 
पंद्रह दिन के लाइफ चेंजिंग एक्सपीरियंस के लिए अगर आप हिसाब लगाओ तो इट्स नॉट इवन हंड्रेड रुपीज पर डे अ वेरी स्मॉल बागेन इन डी तो उठाइए अपना मोबाइल और रजिस्टर कीजिए बिफोर आर स्लॉट आर फुल बट रुकिए 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 हमारा एक काउंटर ऑफर भी है हु एवर रजिस्टर्स बिफोर दिस वेबिनार एंड और लेट्स बी अटल मोर जेनरस हु एवर रजिस्टर्स लेट्स ए टिल ट्वेल्व नोन टूडे गेट्स अ फिफ्टीन परसेंट डिस्काउंट येस पंद्रह सौ रुपए पंद्रह दिन के लाइफ चेंजिंग एक्सपीरियंस के लिए एंड पंद्रह परसेंट डिस्काउंट हाउ डज दैट साउंड If you're calculating on your mobile, how much is fifteen percent discount? Let me make it easy for you. It's one two seven five, twelve hundred and seventy five rupees only. So, ab apna mobile uthaiye or register kijiye. Our lines are open for you all. We can give you a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes till you all register. The link will be shared in the WhatsApp group and in the chat. Also, so you can all register. Now we will do the needful. Thank you so much. Do not miss this golden opportunity to connect with Vindri Korchi on our level one fifteen day series starting sixth March to twenty second March. All you early risers, it will be very easy for you. And those that cannot get up, this is motivation enough. Five thirty to six thirty. Thank you so much. While you all register, we continue with our session. Vaisi to the session was very very clear, but we'll take up a couple of questions. And before that, some vital information about Jeevan Charge, an amazing platform. So at Jeevan Charge, we have five different categories, as most of you know. Starting with our language academy. So right now we are catering to Punjabi language, but pretty soon. i assure you we will not only go bilingual but multilingual as well and we are working on it our sangeet academy has lots to offer which is already operational already functional we are doing online and offline both our first batch of gurbani academy went on flows a little over a month back and the teachers are doing amazing job thank you teachers ह्यूमन एम्पावरमेंट सेल के बारे में क्या बताऊं दैट्स वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट सो वी हैव अ काउंसलिंग सेल एंड वी हैव बिल्डिंग स्पिरिचुअल मसल्स इन अ काउंसलिंग सेल वी हैव वन ऑन वन काउंसलिंग ग्रुप काउंसलिंग ऑनलाइन काउंसलिंग ऑफलाइन काउंसलिंग वेबिनार वर्कशॉप बहुत कुछ है सबके लिए बिल्डिंग स्पिरिचुअल मसल्स ओवर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सेशन ऑफ एनलाइटनिंग टॉपिक्स like empathy versus sympathy addictions focus endocrine glands and lots lots more we also have a building spiritual muscles community page the link will be shared in the whatsapp group so kindly join our page and be updated with all our sessions on building spiritual muscles a recent addition to jeevan charge is our teachers training programs so if there are any teachers in the audience kindly listen to this very carefully our teachers training program is a new age teaching program where we teach we coach the teachers to teach using new age methodology as i say this i can see the registrations pouring in thank you so much for people who are already registering we welcome you welcome your passion and your love so coming back to our teachers training programs again it is already functional we have conducted online and offline teachers training programs in some prestigious schools in mumbai and punjab as well so we walk our talk these are our snippets from all our events conducted over the past a year so as you can see these are the sessions conducted this was a teachers training program that we conducted in the school in punjab our volunteers doing commendable job thank you volunteers now for some exciting news we have a basic punjabi and gurbani course regular batch weekend batch and also for tiny tots and adults this is going to be launched in may the forms will also be launched 
So stay tuned, log into our website, www.jivajaj.org for more information. We also have a one-on-one -on -one course for which we have received amazing, amazing, overwhelming response. It is at your time, in the comfort of your house, that you can learn Gurmukhi and Gurbani. So these teachers are also doing a wonderful job on this one-on-one -on -one course. One-on-one -on -one Sangeet courses also have been launched. A lot has to be said on this. So for that, kindly log into our website, www.jeevancharge.org and get the details. Thank you so much. Yes, we can continue with the registrations. We have a couple of questions, Puaji. Many participants have asked how to control emotions. Khaskar anger no kime control ki pachai. So would you like to throw some light on it? Yes. See, anger is the biggest problem. Anger is the biggest problem. When anger comes, first thing, you have to label yourself that I am sick. Label yourself, I am sick. Recognize that energy. Usually when anger comes, we do not recognize. Someone tells us that you are a very angry bird, but we don't come. But you have to anger, you have to recognize that energy. Tell to yourself that anger comes out from where? Ego. Anger will stay with you only just for 10 minutes. After 10, 15 minutes, if it continues, your nerves are going to burst. It cannot anger. But from where does it arise? Anger arises from where? From ego. And ego is 24 hours with us. 24 hours with us. When an anger comes, try to understand why this anger has come. Put a dialogue to why this anger has come. Because someone said something, so anger came. Because we are always having a framework with us. A framework is there with us. We want that my children, my husband, my wife, my neighbors, my in-laws, all should fit into my frame. That means they all have to understand that what I am saying, they have to listen. What I am saying is right. You have to follow what I am telling you. So when there's a clash of two thoughts, anger arises. And we are trying to fit everyone into our frame. Break this frame. Break this frame. Put a dialogue to yourself. Everyone is right. Because everyone has their own way of thinking. What others think right, maybe not right for me. What I think right, maybe not right for them. We think everyone to be our property. Why we think our children is our property? We want that the children should do what we want them to do. Because we are always right. We have a lot of experience. Please break the system. Please break this ego. Everyone is right in their own place. All have their own thought process. You have to just put a dialogue to yourself to bring down this anger. Bring down this anger because anger arises from ego. It's okay. But they have their own thought process. Unka bhi own way of experiences hai, and they are right. But hum jo hai, hum new generation ke hai. Hamare way of thinking is also right. No one is right and no one is wrong. It's a simple dialogue you have to put to yourself. And label your anger. Label your anger. Agar aapko bahut gussa aya hai. If Pinky Bajaj is on the platform, is Pinky Bajaj on the platform? No, Poji, I don't think. Okay. Because there are certain type of techniques these psychologists and all they give when you are in anger. Aap ek paper le lo aur usko crush kar do. Usko phaar do. Phaar do. Poor apna gussa usme nikal ke put into the dustbin. Jitne paper braan se usko dustbin me daal do. These are what all these counselors do. Jab aapko gussa aata hai. Or take a pencil and just scribble, 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 scribble. Take out your frustration. Because if you do not, then the level of anger will increase. 
anger increase pehle to aapki shakal hi drishti jayegi it become very different and then slowly slowly you become abusive and when you become abusive that control nahi aaya then you pick up your hand also marna bhi shuru karoge this is the level of anger so when you see anger is coming immediately take a paper and put a dialogue to yourself i label that this anger is coming why this anger is coming because usne meri baat nahi suni par theek hai nahi suni that is his way of thinking just put a dialogue automatically your anger starts going down it goes down so there is a different process of how to control your anger han ji yes poor ji well said albert pinto ko gussa kyu aata hai now we know how to deal with it yes <laughs> we spoke about our uh, website so a little bit more about our social media channels and our website so viewers we have a state of art website coming up but our existing website is functional no doubt we are social media channels jeevan charge is active superbly active on facebook instagram and twitter as well where we keep posting vital information from time to time so do log in on these social media channels during your me time and like comment and share moving on we also have a youtube jeevan charge channel wherein we have recorded sessions of all our webinars as i mentioned earlier over 140 sessions of bsn so those that have newly joined to jeevan charge so you can log into our youtube channel and get acquainted with all these wonderful enlightening awakening sessions we already have over 1k subscribers so do like share and comment and subscribe so that you get notified each time we go live we also have a whatsapp official number that you can see flashed on your screen we do respond to this number between the timings 12 and 1 pm 8 pm and 9 pm ist mondays to fridays so for those that have issues logging on to the forms or any other related issues you can just pick up your phone and call us we are there for you we also have a link tree which is a one stop portal to all our social media channels these are our exceptional services that we offer we are also active on telegram so you can join our telegram group all these links will be added to the whatsapp group that all of you have been added continuing with a couple of more questions poorji as we talk of laws of nature question is how easy or difficult it is to be in sync with these laws see to be in sync with the laws of nature of laws of nature see slowly when we will come on to the series they we will be giving you tools we will be giving you tools of how to align yourself to get in tune with all these laws of nature because they are going to be very very pious very pious for example first you have to have the knowledge knowledge is very very important what are we doing on the platform we are imparting all the knowledge now this knowledge has to become wisdom this is just knowledge today whatever we have done is just the knowledge which we have given you but knowledge turns into wisdom when we apply whatever we have learnt we apply this knowledge and knowledge turns into wisdom and that wisdom is going to be our experience so merely having knowledge is not everything if we really want to get in tune with the laws of the nature whatever knowledge we are giving please walk on it please walk on it if today i say that we are the walking talking god on earth we are the universe we are the unchangeable we have the power we have the power of the thought this is the knowledge i have given you this is the knowledge but then make it into wisdom how will you make it wisdom ab session ke baad hi baith jaoge करना ही बड़ा मुश्किल है खाली कहने वाली बातें होती हैं कौन गॉड होता है नहीं है जी हमारा तो बोल बिलीव सिस्टम यू गॉन बैक टू स्क्वायर वन बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव द फेथ यू आर नॉट एबल टू टेक अप योर ओन पावर द रोबोट इज अगेन गॉन बैक फ्रॉम यू यू आर नॉट टेकिंग इट अप यू आर नॉट टेकिंग एन एफर्ट टू ब्रिंग अ चेंजिंग टू योर लाइफ सो यू हैव टू चेंज द नॉलेज इन टू विजडम बाई वॉकिंग ऑन दैट पाथ यू हैव टू वॉक ऑन दैट पाथ then only you can get in tune to the nature which we will be doing we're going to do so many laws you have to follow every tool you have to do it. 
आज के सेशन में तो यही है कि अगर आपको मैंने कह दिया कि यू आर द वॉकिंग टॉकिंग गॉड यू आर द यूनिवर्स एंड यू आर दिन यू हैव टू बिलीव इट एंड वॉक एंड गेट आउट ऑफ द सेशन एंड देन यू वॉक विद यस आई हैव दावर टू चेंज I can change the universe inside me. I can just change my thought process. I become a creator. I can become a sustainer. I can become a destroyer. I'll destroy all the negativity inside me and create a beautiful world. That means it become a wisdom, and you are experiencing it. That means you got in tune to the law of nature. So just merely by listening, it will not do. Anji. Yes, absolutely. If anybody has any topic related questions, we have a couple of minutes, so you can raise your hands. Poji, if we are in sync with the laws of nature, can we say that we have surrendered to the oneness? Definitely. Until you don't surrender, you will not sync with the laws of nature. It goes side by side. If you surrender, you sync with the laws of nature, and if you have actually in line with the laws of nature, that means you have surrendered. Great. I'm sure there are a lot of questions. So let me assure you that during our 15-day series, starting 6th March, no one will be left behind. All your queries will be answered for sure. So let me start by offering my thanks this time in reverse order. So all you wonderful participants, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your patience for waiting for this webinar to happen. Brought to you by Building Spiritual Muscles of Human Empowerment Cell of Jeevan Jaj. your feedback is what keeps us motivated so kindly be generous with it and fill in the feedback form as we share it in the whatsapp group thank you so much jeevan jaj a platform that raises its bar with each ongoing session we promise to keep coming back and how our president and vice president for giving us the opportunity to host such phenomenal sessions अब बारी आती है हमारे आज के स्पीकर विंद्री कौर जी की आपका शुक्राना करते हुए वी लुक फॉरवर्ड टू योर अमेजिंग सीरीज दैट विल गो लाइव स्टार्टिंग सिक्स मार्च टू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च आई एम श्योर वी हैव अ हाउस फुल देर आई कैन ऑलरेडी सी दी रजिस्ट्रेशन पोरिंग इन और बोथ माई डिवाइस इज अप अप कमिंग इन थैंक यू व्यूअर्स फॉर योर एंथुजियाजम वी ट्रूली अप्रिशिएटेड सो सी यू ऑल फाइव थर्टी ए एम ऑन मंडे सिक्स मार्च Thank you good morning have a good day